appreciate any of you that have subscribed and if you're just watching this for the first time consider subscribing especially if you're interested in the Hankai 3.6 outboard motor this is kind of a journey of my life with this particular motor so there are a lot of videos here's the latest installment saw this online bought it from Amazon and again there were negative reviews saying that it didn't hold up or it wasn't didn't fit things like that and again I in looking at it it looked pretty stable so what you do is you just twist it to the right and it is good and hard but here was the problem when you uh, there's a sleeve inside that makes up the gap but it, there's not enough to it so when you slide this on the handle even if you tighten this all the way down you can see it's real wobbly and that's not going to work someone even said it broke it wouldn't work for theirs well obviously it won't work for the hang tie however I have a simple solution for it this is some styrofoam packing out of a computer that I bought and if you'll take a knife or whatever you have available to you, I'm just going to slice through this about a quarter of an inch thick. So you have to have a, a good sharp knife. Once you get that piece, you could match it to this if you want to spread this out. That will give you about the right length. Seems like a good idea to me. And what we're going to do is wrap this around. Then put this on. So I already have a piece that I've made that was just the right thickness because I wanted it a little bit thinner than that. So we'll put that on. I've got to open this back up because now it's too tight. Once that's done, now I can slide this on. You can tell already it's tight. I'll have to loosen this up a little bit more. and it's already pretty snug. Now it's nice and firm. You change the length. Clockwise tightens it. Pretty handy. So once I figure out how far away I need to be, because in the little raft that I made to use this motor on, the motor was a little bit too far away, it was uncomfortable. So when I take it out on the water, we'll see how this works out. Obviously, I can throttle up and down, no problem. Change the length. That's the maximum. I think it's going to work just great. Also, if you're interested in the, the length, it's going to extend the, the handle. Let's go from the base of the handle where your hand would be. Minimally 17 inches with a maximum of... four inches to the tip of the, uh, the handle. So I think that's going to work out really well. I'm very happy with it. Like I said, it was uh, just under $20, $19.95, $19.98, something like that. I think it's good quality. So remember, if, uh, if you want to follow along with the adventures of this motor, any repairs that I do, I will make little videos and I hope to get out on the water pretty soon. It's still a little bit too cold and uh, the water levels are a little high in the local river, so that's where I'll test it out so I can see how fast it actually goes. I'll probably use it a little bit for fishing in some larger ponds or small lakes. But subscribe to the channel and you can keep up with uh, the adventures of this Hankai 3.6 outboard motor and the uh, Intex four-person raft that I put a, a floor in and some seats. So subscribe and follow along.
Thanks for watching.